This is a question about the sampling, quantization, and pulse code modulation of an audio signal. We're told that the audio signal is band limited to one kilohertz. We're given the peak to peak voltage of five volts, and we're told about the quantizer. We're told it's 64 levels. So the first question, straightforward, what's the bit depth of the quantizer? How many bits do we need to encode 64 levels? So that's simply the logarithm to the base 2 of the number of levels. So 6 bits, that's easy. Second question, what's the smallest amplitude? So what they're asking for is the step size of the quantizer. So if you imagine your signal to be something like this, with a peak-to-peak -peak value or peak-to-peak -peak voltage of 5 volts, and we then divide that up into 64 levels, let's assume it's a uniform quantizer, uh, it says in the question it's a uniform quantizer, and the question is, what's the step size? How big is each of these levels? So if we call that delta, we know there are 64 levels. So we can simply find delta by dividing 5, that's the peak-to-peak -peak voltage, divided by the number of levels. So that gives you 0 0.078 volt. The next question asks for the bit rate. So after we finished sampling and quantizing, you have a series of bits coming out of the encoder. This bit rate is equal to the product of the bit depth times the sample rate. We're told in the question that, it, that the signal is sampled at the Nyquist rate. So that's twice 1000. 1000 is the bandwidth of the message. So it's 6 times 2 times 1000. So that's 12 kilobits per second. That's your bit rate. The next question is about the PCM signal. What's the bandwidth of the PCM signal? Now remember, the bandwidth of the PCM signal depends on the pulse shape we use. But if we use optimum pulse shaping, it's possible to have a PCM bandwidth of half R. So that's our minimum bandwidth. It's generally greater than that. It's generally closer to R. But the minimum bandwidth is half R. So that's half of 12. Sorry, the units will be kilohertz because we're finding a bandwidth. Now for the next part, we're told that we're now allowed 50% more bandwidth. So that means we're allowed 50% more than the 6 kilohertz. So our new bandwidth is one and a half times the 6 kilohertz. So that's 9 kilohertz. And the question is, how can the signal quality be improved? How can we use that new bandwidth? What can, we, what can we do to improve the quality of the signal to make use of this additional bandwidth? So there are two things we can do. We can improve or increase the bit depth, and we can increase the sample rate. No one wants to sample at the Nyquist rate. So we want to oversample a little bit, or we want to add a few bits. So let's see what we can achieve with 9 kilohertz. So with a bandwidth of 9 kilohertz, we'd have a bit rate, R, of at least twice that. So we'd, we'd have up to 18, up to 18,000 bits per second. So what could we do to achieve 18? So instead of having six bits times 
2000, we could have eight bits and a little bit more than 2000. If we take 2200, that will give us 17.6 bits per second or kilobits per second, which is um, just under the 18,000 bits per second. And what that gives us as a bonus is, if that's your message at one kilohertz, then it allows the replicas caused by the sampling, if we're not sampling at 2,000, we're sampling at 2,200, this is called oversampling. So that here, so let's just move this slightly out of the way. That's your 1,000. That will be 1,200. And that 200 kilohertz or 200 hertz gap between the two spectra, that's called a guard band. And that helps us when we're applying our low pass filter at the receiver. So it's always good to oversample. So I've chosen a sample rate slightly higher than the Nyquist rate, um, and I've increased the bit rate or the bit depth from six to eight. By adding two bits, it means that my uh, total number of levels won't be 2 to the power 6, it'll be 2 to the power 8. So we now have, instead of 64 levels, we have 256 levels. So that means that the, uh, the step size will be um, much less than 0 0.078, because we're dividing 5 by 256. It means the quantization error, what we call the, um, the granularity noise, will be less. So we're reducing the error, we're improving the quality, and therefore the reproduction of the signal will be much clearer. Now in the final section, we're told that we are now oversampling at twice the Nyquist rate. So this time, Remember, R is simply the sample the bit depth times the sample rate. Now, if the sample rate is now twice the Nyquist rate, that's 2 times 2,000. And we're told that we're using 16 levels. So 16 levels means L, uh, sorry, N, the number of bits, is log 2 of 16 which is simply four. So now what we have is a bit rate of four times two times two times 1,000. So 16 kilobits per second. So compared to our 12 kilobits per second, we have more bits per second. But these more bits aren't as a result of a, um, a, a, a better ADC or a better quantizer. It's as a result of oversampling by a factor of two. So just think for a second of the step size. The step size is going to be 5 divided by 16. So that's... 0.3 volts compared to 0 0.078 volts. So think about the quantization error. Think about the noise. Think about the quality of this reproduced signal. So this will be a poorer quality signal. So it will be a poorer quality reproduction, despite the higher bit rate. Okay? So... Uh, the question says, which configuration would result in a better quality um, reproduction? Obviously, 
um, uh, the original would give you a better quality reproduction. And by the original, we're talking about um, what was uh, given in the question. So obviously, the, what was given in the question in part A, B and C would be um, superior to this. But also part D, so part E, where we designed our own signal or our own digitizer, that would be even better because we increased the uh, bit depth from 6 to 8. So um, we started off with 6, we went up to 8, and then we went down to 4. Off the 3, which is the best? Well, clearly uh, E would be uh, the better of the uh, three, followed um, by what was given in the question, followed by the um, the one given in F. So that is your final answer.